What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today I am want to open up this cool little uh, Gashapon type kit that I picked up recently from Gundam Planet and that is the Mobile Suit Gundam's Assault Kingdom MSN 06S Sinanju from the Unicorn M8 series. Now, I have all four of these um, gash pockets, and I, I wanted to open, I actually wanted to open them up um, one by one, starting from the first to the last, even though, as you can see, this is the number three version. I have the number one, which is the RX-782, the number two, which happens to be the uh, Unicorn, uh, in Unicorn mode, and the AL Strike, uh, which is the number four. But I said, you know what, considering that I'm now in the process of now going to build the OVA version of the Sinanju, I thought it would be a cool idea to open this guy up and see how it looks. With my recent build of the uh, Sazabi, I said, well, let's keep the, the, the right theme going. So, yeah, this, this is a cool segue into what I'm going to be building soon. Now, Assault Kingdoms is one of those... Um, those unique um, Gashapon kits that are really cool. They have very, very, according to what I'm reading, is very good articulation. So it has its own stand. Something you don't see at this scale. It's pretty nice. Now, here's some uh, in English instructions here. Uh, Caution, please handle with care and start out of reach of children younger than 15 years old. So I guess a 14 year old cannot grab it and put it in its mouth. Who knows? The bag may contain small parts, may be harmful to, if swallowed. Again, under 15. This bag may contain parts that have sharp, pointy, and sharp points and edges. No candy or gum included. So yes, so for those of you who don't want to eat year-old candy, this doesn't have it. And uh, inter uh, interestingly enough, it's being um, distributed here by Bluefin. Do not place this product on top of plastic furniture, surface, sheet, tiles, or anything else made of resin. It may cause color migration. What do you think it's going to do? Melt? Huh. Yeah, wow, it still says that. No candy included. It's probably a bummer to you guys out there. Alright. So, let's open this up cold and see what we got here. Hmm, it's a shame. I actually have to break open the box so I can look at the manual. Alright. We're gonna have to do that. Oh, you know what? This is the manual actually to create the stand and the cage. Eh, fair enough. It's no big deal. Uh, where is my blades? Oh, here it is. This thing pretty much looks like a large gashapon. Oh wow, this thing comes with two sets of hands. Hold on a second. Pointy objects here. I gotta really open up this bag. Okay. So I'm gonna get the hands out. So it's already pre. It feels like it's already pre-assembled, but there's some parts that needs to be put in, like this, the feet. This one is not uh, playing nice with me. There we go. There's the shield. Actually, let me assemble the base. Interesting, the base has that... Um, I 
Hold on a second here. It's hexagon, and yet these are round pegs. All right. I guess we have to put this here for now. All right. So we take this, set that there. It has a rubbery film to it. Could be PVC, PVC or PCB, whatever you we'll call it. Um, there's a tremendous amount of detail here. I see that you can actually switch the shield from one side of the arm to the other. Okay, the hole goes here. And then you have this hand, which you have to... I guess you gotta cut it. Like so. And then put it on the beam rifle. Wow. And this is far nicer than the other um, gashapons that I had in the past. Let's put this hand here. I'll keep it open. Oh, an open hand will be cool. There we go. Alright. Uh, hang on a second while I adjust the camera a bit. Okay. There's a better pose of the Zazabi. And I, I would have to say this has to be maybe a 1 300th scale or something like that. Because it can't be 144th. 144 would have been, Jesus, would have been close to the same height as, a, as my 144 scale Zazabi. So I would probably say it could be a 1 300th scale. Can't be 1 200th, that's for certain. But uh, this is actually really nice. It, very poseable. You can actually bring the arms all the way around and turn it, as you can see. This this part can go up and down. That that's interesting. This one, the arm can go all right, like that. And the head, very limited movement, but because of the collar, the legs, of course, can go far back as it could and far forward as it could. The skirts is on it is very limited. It's on a rubber. It's rubbery, so you don't have to worry about it snapping off. The waist can go left and right. This is pretty cool. Oh, of course, uh, you're probably gonna have one of those parts that fall off all the time unless you want to glue it. And uh, this one goes here, and you can do that. Be nice if I had a beam saber, but I guess maybe um, that won't be the case. Uh, anyway, yeah, very nice. Um, I, I would probably think it would be benefit since there's a, there's some decent amount of uh, C, um, uh, panel lining. You could probably get away with panel lining. Clearly, it's not going to go. It's not going to be 100% um, ac accurate because you know you don't see any uh, detail of the thrusters. Normally, you would probably see that. On the high, on the high grade or master grade, so they, you know, there's certain limitations that they can't do. But other than that, for its posability, it makes up for it. So this is actually a cool, cool little kit that I picked up from Gundam Planet. So nice, it's really nice. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video of um, this uh, little kit. Something for you guys to admire when I now begin building the OVA version. Of the of the Sinanju. With that being said, thank, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.